Hey everyone, my name is Caitlin and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be decluttering my closet because I'm going to be moving in a week. So I really don't want to be taking anything that I'm not going to be using in the near future. So I thought I would just take you through some of the items that I'm going to be donating and what I'm going to be keeping and just sharing how I'm going to go through because I think what this past year has really taught me personally was to try and become more minimalistic to a certain degree and really that I don't need a lot of stuff. Okay, so I'm going to quickly show you what my closet looks right now. Please do not judge me. I have really let it go and it really needs a big revamp, which I will be doing in our new apartment. It is pretty much all over the place. I have clothes kind of hanging here. I had kind of organization above. Bags are pretty much over there. Shoes are pretty much here. And then there's a lot going on. So I need to kind of go through all of this and clear out everything that I don't need. And I can already start packing away some of the handbags that I have and then going through all these boxes that pretty much have a lot of stuff in and sorting this out this is pretty much where I keep all my coffee the coffee packaging that I'm busy using so I thought I would quickly go through handbags first uh, I obviously have a lot of really big city handbags for when I used to go into the office and I know I will still be going into the office eventually, so I'm definitely going to keep my Michael Kors bag. I only have one of the very big ones. And then I have some sentimental ones. This beautiful black bag I got from Venice when I first went to Venice, so I'll be keeping that. I got this laptop bag, leather laptop bag, when... when was it? I think when I was... 24 my first year working so again leather is obviously pretty heavy but it is worth keeping this and it traveled all the way here to America with us so I'm gonna keep these big bags my husband Ed bought me this bag which is pretty nice and useful to have when traveling again so I'm gonna keep that my mom and my sister both have an obsession with Disney, so they both gave me these bags. So I just, I can't right now get rid of those. So I'm going to keep that, but I think I'm going to go through my little bags, because I use a lot of those. But first I'm going to have a quick sip of my coffee. Okay, so I am, I love this. And this bag, I got this in Barcelona, so I'm going to keep these. These are pretty nice to have for going out and taking taking out, so I'm going to keep that. I got this, my mom bought this for me, it's Kate Spade, and I've actually used this a lot. I use this sometimes for my like makeup, so I'm going to keep that. Uh, I think I'm going to get rid of this. I bought this for sale. It's Accessorize, I think. Accessorize is a UK brand. Yeah, Accessorize, so they, they are a UK brand that I love and I've, I've bought quite a few things from them in the past back in South Africa. But really, this isn't really big for me, so I'm going to donate this. And then I'm actually going to donate this because it's really not practical. It's like, it's from Forever New. Forever New is a Australian, I think it's an Australian brand that came to South Africa. It just doesn't like close if it's too full. It's gorgeous, like the design, but I'm just going to, unfortunately, it's just not practical anymore. So I'm going to donate this. My sister actually get me this from, I think, in Dubai. So I can't really get rid of this. Though I haven't used it, so I need to try and use it. And it's pretty nice and big, so I think it can fit a lot of stuff in. So that 
is something that I can keep and try use. I then have all these kind of crossover bags from Witchery, which is a Australian brand that came to South Africa. So I just can't let go of this because when I was in South Africa, this was the thing to have. So, and it's, and it's leather, so can't give this up. And I still pretty much use these quite a lot. So I'm gonna keep that. And I'm pretty much not getting rid of a lot of bags, but my mom gave me this for Christmas in 2019. It hasn't, I haven't really used it. It's also another witchery bag, another crossover bag. I haven't used it as much. So I, it actually still has like a little tag. So I need to use this a lot. It's nice because it's actually got quite a thick, thick handle, handle, crossover thingy. Okay, yeah, so I'm gonna keep that. I've got a little micro cause, which is in this beautiful, I wanna say it like burgundy. Oh, it's very like purple, but I really love this and I actually got this at the Michael Kors outlet mall in San Francisco. So this is been really useful uh, during COVID and just going out. It's like super big, so it fits like everything that I need in there. I've actually got a guest bag, which is so, it is actually really old. So I think I'm going to donate this because the leather is kind of rubbing off. My mom bought me this when I was in varsity. So this has been used so much, but I do love the black, white, and brown. So I definitely think I want to get something new. And it's got this beautiful blue lining in, but yeah, it's pretty much super worn out, super used, super dated, so I think I am going to donate this. So I've got that. And then I have some of my grand's bags that I just can't get rid of. So this beautiful clutch and this beautiful clutch that I just, I'll never give away because it's just something of hers. Should I actually just pack it away? I might just store them. I've got this little clutch, which is not very practical, but it was my matric. Ah, it's like matric is matric dance is like prom night for every, anyone in the US. So I think I got this also from. Is it from? I thought it was from Accessorize. I think it's from a little store in, like a little boutique store in Cape Town. So. I, it's got sentimental value, so I'm going to keep this, and I bought this recently from Aldo in Cape Town, so I'm going to keep that as well. My sister and I have matching one. She's got the, I want to say like a gold, rose gold one, and then I've got the black one, and I've got matching shoes, so I'm going to keep this. I just need to protect it so that it doesn't get like squished. And then I bought this through friends of mine back in Cape Town. It's definitely got that like boho style. I did lose my my apartment keys in San Francisco with this bag. So I'm always like really worried to use it. But I don't have anything kind of like this. So I think I'm just going to keep it for now. And maybe during a next decluttering go through that. Then, I oh, got this beautiful bag, also from Accessorize, it's just super super cute. I've used this a lot when going to the ballet or to a show, so I think I'm going to keep this. And I think this is from Accessorize as well. Let's see, are you from Accessorize? Um, yes, it is from Accessorize. But again, it can't find my phone in, so <laughs> it's not very practical but it's super pretty, so I'm gonna keep that. And then I obviously have, ugh, I have my Louis that will be obviously coming with me. And then I've just bought the Gucci handbag. So my, my recent purchase. So definitely keeping this. So I guess like I'm only getting rid of like three things. So, oops. 
probably need to get rid of some clothes. So these things are going to be donated. Okay, so just to quickly show you, I have now packed all my bags in one box. I'm going to top them over with scarves that I'm not using so that they can just be protected. And now I think I'm going to go through my clothes and see what I'm going to donate but I'm not going to pack away any of my clothes right now. I'm going to quickly go through some of my clothes. I don't really have a giant closet and I definitely think moving to the US has really forced me to minimize my clothes because the apartments here are so tiny. You really can't fit anything. Like this is meant to be shared but I basically am using the entire closet space. But anyway, so we'll go through this quickly. Uh, this is from Athleta. Still love this, so I'm going to keep that. This is just a spaghetti top. Everyone needs a denim shirt. This is from Gap, and I got this ages ago, so it's pretty... It's definitely it has definitely lasted quite long which is good and then I love a good polo neck so I'm going to keep this and I also recently just got this from Holland Cooper in the UK it is a new brand that I'm trying Everlane is a San Francisco brand I think it's only in San Francisco I bought this when I lived there it is like a linen shirt so I really love that, so I'm going to keep that. I bought this in Barcelona at Mango, and I've worn this to death, so I'm still going to keep this for summer until I find another maxi dress, because I love that. This is from H&M that I bought for, for my husband's Christmas party. I actually have something similar, so I'm going to donate this because I haven't actually worn it since since that Christmas party. This is a beautiful Zara dress that I bought in extra small by accident and I'm actually a small and I just haven't worn it but I just love the pattern so I'm just going to keep it maybe I can fit into it eventually but we'll see. I then bought this from Zara. It's a jumpsuit, but I've never really worn it, so I'm going to donate that. And then I bought this from ASOS, but the material is super thick, so I don't really like it for summer. So I'm also going to donate that. So for three items so far. Okay, uh, I bought this dress from Zara. This past summer, it's, it is really beautiful, it's a beautiful pattern, but it goes really tight around my waist, so I'm probably not going to wear that this summer again. That's just a gown. Oh, I bought this DKNY dress that I wear, I actually wear it a lot, so I'm going to keep that. Another Zara dress, I'm sure a lot of you have seen this or seen influencers wear this. Love this dress, it's super handy to have. This is from Witchery, it's actually my sister's bridesmaid's dress and I just love Witchery so I am not going to get rid of that. Then this is another Witchery dress, this is what I was saying was similar to the H&M dress, it's got like the floral prints. So I'm going to definitely keep that. This is also a Witchery dress that I wore for a wedding. A year ago. Well, I'm definitely keeping that. Um, this is a forever new dress that I bought to wear for my kitchen tea and actually ended up being so cold so I've actually never worn it but it's got sentimental value so I'm gonna keep that. This is also a witchy dress but I don't feel as if it's so flattering on me so I'm going to Need that. I've had this witchy dress, this halter neck, I love a good halter neck, for I think a few years now and it's still in so, such good condition so I'm going to keep that. Love a good polka dot. 
this. I love this dress, so I'm going to keep it as well. I wear it a lot. This is perfect for summer. I know stripes don't really show up well. Then this is another Zari dress, just in the leopard print. Similar, exact same as this, but I'm going to keep that. Okay, I actually bought this for New Year's Eve from H&M. I'm sure I can wear it again. Then I bought this from Zara uh, in, I think it was Florence. So gonna keep that, it's really beautiful. This, uh, this actually dress I wore black little lace number. Uh, I bought for my kitchen tea, so I'm gonna keep that. Then I bought this beautiful Zara polka dot dress but it's like super low neck and gaps here. So I've tried pinning it and it just doesn't work. So I'm going to donate that. I wore this, this is a forever new dress. I wore for my engagement party. So sentimental value there. I'm going to keep that. Then I have like these kimono, I like this one. I haven't worn this much, so I'm going to keep that. Maybe I'll wear that for summer. So let's see. Now, um, I'm going to keep that. This is all good. This is beautiful. Witchery top with florals. I've actually worn that quite a bit. So I'm going to keep that. This is also from Witchery that I've worn quite a bit. This is from Forever New. I really like this. I need to actually try this on to see if it still fits. Then I'm definitely going through like a leopard print face. So this is from Zara that I bought recently. I think over winter. And then this is from... Where is this from? J. Crew. This is the first thing that I've actually bought from J. Crew. So I'm going to keep that. This is also from J. Crew that I like. So I think that's all good. Um, this, does this go? Maybe when we go back to the office, I can wear my polka dot shirt because this is pretty much formal wear. I'm going to keep that. I love this Banana Republic shirt that I got. It's got champagne on it. It's super, super cute. Again, when we're back in the office, I would definitely be wearing that. So I think that's good. Another polka dot thing. I think I might give this away because... I don't know. I think the style's just gone out, so I might give that away. I haven't actually worn that. These are shirts from Country Road. So I'm actually wearing a Country Road shirt now that my mom gave me, that she sent me. Country Road is an Australian brand that came to Cape Town. So I've got quite a few other things, but this just, this shirt always creases. So I actually need to get some more t-shirts and then oh I had this cute one made from Levi's this I bought from Nordstrom recently and keep that this is a cute one from Nike that I've started wearing again I think I'm going to donate that then also from also from Everlane is this 100% human Love this. It's pretty faded, but for now, because we're still working from home, I'm going to keep it. My husband will probably hate it. That I am doing that. Try these on. I think I might give these away. I bought this from Poetry, which is another. It's another shop in Cape Town but the front came undone, so it doesn't sit nicely. So I'm gonna try that on again. I'm also gonna try this on again, because I think this is stretched a little bit, but 
It's from a boutique in Cape Town, South Africa as well. Okay, jerseys. I like this. Oh, I like, um, do I want to continue wearing this? I got this from Primark in Munich when I went there for business. Made it all the way out because my sister wanted stuff from Primark. I guess I can keep it, it's a Halloween thing. I'm going to donate that. Let's see, that's a hoodie top. Top. Look how cute. <laughs> I bought this from H&M. Baby Yoda. I think it's part of a PJ set. But I wear it. It's quite short. It's like a little crop top. So I mainly just wear it inside. That's like Puma. Chuck some running stuff. I definitely need to get some new active wear. So I think I'm going to. I've never tried Lululemon, so I would like to try them. I've tried Athleta. I have now had their le their leggings for now two years, and they're pretty stretched out, so they're not fitting as nicely. So. I've heard really good things about Lululemon, so I'm going to probably try them out. Okay, this is. I can keep that, I can keep that. These are pants. Oh, I bought these from Zara. Uh, I think I need to try them on and see if they fit. So, I definitely think I need to try on like a bunch of stuff and see if I want to keep them. Here. I've also got black pants, work pants from Country Road that I need to try on and see if they fit me. I don't think they fit me. My body has definitely changed. Um, okay. Oh, I bought this from Fabletics recently. It's like cool puffer jacket, which I think needs a wash. Yeah, need to wash it. I also need to take some stuff to the dry cleaners. I also have this beautiful polka dot blouse. I do have an obsession with polka dots. Oh yeah, so just in just in the little corner, I had this sparkly dress from. H&M, it definitely gives me the Gatsby vibes and I bought this for my cousin's burlesque uh, bachelorette and I honestly haven't worn it. I haven't worn it since since her bachelorette so I think I think this can go um, it is also super super short so that can go an old Puma running jacket I've got like these two Reebok. I just haven't worn these in forever, but again, I haven't really been running. Um, this is a Nike jacket. It's a bit tight for me, so I think I'm going to donate that. Oh, I like this. This is actually from Athleta. This is one of their running jackets. I think this is fine. I think this Reebok one is super light, so I'm just going to, I've got that Athleta one, so that can go, I bought this at um, a factory sale in Cape Town ages ago. I'm going to keep it for now because then I at least have a zip one, and this is pretty wind resistant. Cape Town is really windy, I'm not, it's not so windy in Denver, so that's kind of good. But now I'm going to just organize a little bit, make quite a dent there, which is good. And then I guess I also have, I bought this jersey from Banana Republic a while ago. I feel like Banana Republic's quality has gone down quite a bit, so I don't know. It's super good. It always creases, so I think I'm going to donate that. And then that I've got a box there of summer stuff that I need to go through but I'm just going to quickly organize the shelves 
I'm going to organize the rails and put everything a little bit in order so I can see everything. I bought this and I love the pattern but the fit just doesn't fit really well and was the smallest size I could get. It's from Poppy and Pyrenees and it just really doesn't fit nicely so yeah. I'm so sad because I recently bought it and I think I'm just going to donate because it just doesn't fit nicely. The neckline is just super... It's just like super wide. I'm like, why is it so wide? Why? Why does it have to be wide? So I think I'm going to donate it. Maybe I should just wear it as PJs. But I'm looking for a cool tracksuit, like top and bottom that matches. But I haven't found that, so need to maybe think about reorganizing that. <laughs> I had a feeling you'd come back and save me From all those lonely nights and heartbreaks And I feel misplaced without you Why don't we go back to, why don't we go back to Never wanted to end it like we did I guess shit happens for a reason But it's like something Okay, so I've got this really beautiful white jacket. I actually need to get it dry cleaned. I see that there's some marks on, so I'm just going to put this over there. And then I have this beautiful top that I just need to fit on and see if it fits. So I've got a few things here. This is a beautiful Everlane shirt. I think it's black but it looks like navy and shiny but this needs to get dry cleaned and so does this Banana Republic dress that I have. I bought this actually in Cape Town I feel before Banana Republic's quality went down and I've had it for years. It's lasted so long and it's gone on so many trips with me so I just need to get it dry cleaned and I will dry clean it after we move so I'm just going to hang it up in its spot and then that's pretty much it. So this is what I'm probably going to be donating and now everything's pretty much this is everything I need to try on these items and then I've just organized everything and next up will be my shoes that I need to sort out but I've pretty much started packing so I packed all the handbags I'm not using away and I need to deal with all of this as well and I also want to sort out my makeup and toiletries there's a lot of stuff that I can probably throw away I've been throwing away things generally as I do that but I think for now I'm going to stop this vlog here because I feel that I have shown you so much and I'll probably do another vlog with clearing out my makeup, my jewellery and my toiletries and things like that. But I've packed away, I've packed now two boxes, one with my bags, one with stationery and things like that. Sorted out everything that I'm going to take so that's pretty easy and in terms of clothes I know what I'm going to take and now I need to start sort out my jewelry and my makeup. But if you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe to my channel and leave a comment down below. If you have any hacks and tricks on how to clear out and declutter because I'm sure I can do a lot more. But for now, 
I think this is good. I know we haven't really been going out, so I haven't been utilizing a lot of my clothes. So I, I do have kind of, I'm holding on to them, which I shouldn't be. But it is what it is. So hopefully when we go out and I can start wearing a lot of these things, I can then declutter. But please subscribe and I will chat to you all soon. Bye for now.